Hi, my name is LaVon and I'm with Occupational Therapy and I get to take you through the next part of your shoulder information. Our main job is to help you be more independent um, while still following precautions after surgery such as what you're having. So I'm going to go over a couple things that will require like um, called your activities of daily living. So a couple of things that you want to think about is things that you can do before you come into surgery to prepare your home to be safe, to be more safe for you. A couple, one of the main things you want to think about is removing tripping hazards. And what I mean by that is things such as um, throw rugs, you know, um, ideally if you can, we like to have to roll up those throw rugs and put them away for the, for the first couple of weeks, but sometimes the floor underneath is more slippery, so you might need to take duct tape and put it all the way around it so that it will stay um, fit, stay put. Other things that might cause you tripping hazards are in any other, if you have to step over clutter, um, also cords from say laptops, um, lamps, even your recliners. So a great way to help that is just put a bright piece of duct tape on it. That way it keeps it affixed to the floor and then also gives you a visual that, you know, to be careful for it and it'll prevent you from that falling. Um, think about the place that you'll be sitting. You've got to remember with your arm in the sling, you're not going to have a lot of movement, so you want to sit in a place that you have something to position that arm under. Um, you can always use pillows. I know that um, there's other uh, other positioning things that we can help you with when we get to work with you one-on-one. -on -one. But you want to think of that where you're sitting. You want to sit in chairs that you can get easily in and out of. So if you have a couch at home that say is super deep and that when you sit in it you can't touch the ground, it might be a great idea to put a pillow at your back because you want to be able to, every time you're going to do what we call sit to stand, you can shimmy forward and sit up safely without having to put any pressure on that on that surgical arm. Um, another thing that you think will be more, that you can imagine will be more difficult is getting into cabinets, things that are, you know, um, when you're doing one-handed. So so I've got this thing, this little reacher here. A reacher is a really great piece of equipment. Um, it works as an extension to your hands. I'm going to show you several ways throughout the little presentation here that you can use it. But one of the, way, one of the great ways is when, um, if you need to get into like a drawer or a cabinet or something like that, rather than having to try to bend down and doing the balance, it causing the pressure on that shoulder. So the reacher, um, the trigger controls the claw, really great to pick things up off the floor. If you happen to be sitting down, you drop your phone, you drop your remote control, any of that kind of stuff. It's super helpful. You just use that reacher to pick it up. Um, also, it's helpful for opening up drawers. So, um, you know, going into your bedroom, open up the drawer, you know, grab your clothes out that you're going to wear. Super easy that way. Um, after your showers, picking up your clothes um, or your towels and picking them up, put them in the dirty clothes so that you will, again, prevent some of that bending that's going to cause a little bit of extra pressure there. We can go over a little bit more of that. Um, throughout the sessions or, or if you have more specific questions. Um, another thing um, you want to wear good show you want to wear shoes with good soles, good traction, uh, something that's not going to be too flippity floppity around because you want to be able to, uh, you're not going to be able to, you know, your balance is going to be a little off anyway. So um, just good shoes, good traction, something like that. Um, I'm going to go over some pet cares a little bit later um, in, your pre in the presentation, so I'll touch base on that a little bit. Um, another thing you want to make sure is you have what we call to have you enlisting a coach. And what we mean by that is just having somebody you know is going to be able to pick you up from the hospital after surgery because you won't be able to drive. Somebody will be able to take you, um, you know, to some of your appointments, take you to go to the grocery shopping, that kind of stuff, um, things like that. Someone to help you, especially for the first couple of weeks, okay? The next section that we're, next part we're going to cover is what we call your durable medical equipment. And that's where some of the things come in are like the shower chair, uh, your wedge that you're going to be using and that kind of stuff. So um, in the back, um, your doctors are going to want you to sit down to your showers for your first couple of weeks simply because it's a lot safer for you. So another thing you want to make sure that you have a shower chair. Um, and I believe we have um, the numbers in the in the book. You can find it. We have groups that we work with um, that we that lend out the equipment. Um, so I think there's like the Elks Lodge, a couple of the places like that. So this would be a place that you could call and say, hey, we need to borrow a shower chair for a few weeks. Let them know what day you're having your surgery. They'll arrange for you to um, pick it up and then you use it for as long as you need it and then you just return it to them. So in your shower chair, the shower chair works, this works really great in any kind of your walk-in showers, your bathtub shower combos, or even just your smaller showers because of the size of it, it's pretty easy. The two things you want to remember is that when you sit it down in the bathroom, um, you want to make sure that the water is facing this way. Um, after a sur surgery such as you're having, you don't want to have to be getting up and down, up and down, up and down throughout the shower because you're wet, you're slippery, um, you know, and when you're on pain medication, sometimes it can cause you to be a little bit um, slower in your reaction time and that kind of stuff. So you want to make sure you have some kind of a long-handled sponge. This thing is super, super helpful, especially when you only have the one hand. Um, you'll be able to use your hand a little bit, but you're not going to be able to, you know, do certain motions as you as you can imagine. But the long-handled sponge is super great. Sit down and get all of the areas without getting, um, in, without twisting, hurting any of the parts. Um, um, it'll be su super safe and easier for you to use. You can get these um, for just a couple of dollars at Walgreens, Walmart, all sorts of places like that. Um, just, and it doesn't have to look exactly like this, with just a long handle and some kind of a loofah or something at the end, which is gonna be helpful for you, okay? 
Um, the other thing you might want to think about is using the uh, um, long-handled shoehorn. Um, See that feature comes in so handy. <laughs> okay, the long handle shoehorn, and when you're putting your shoes on, the long handle shoehorn is really, um, really great because you just put it right in the back of the shoe, and then you can pull up the back of your heel, so you're not trying to have to bend over, trying to bring that foot up when you only have the one hand. That one hand is going to be pretty tired by the time you're done with your surgery. <laughs> um, the next thing you want to think about is you want to practice things that you're going to be doing on a regular basis. Okay, you want to practice them with one hand because obviously one arm is going to be in the sling, and especially if it's your dominant hand, you have to work with you know eating with your other with your non-dominant hand, washing, showering, all of that kind of stuff. So just before you come in for surgery, um, you know practice doing things with that one arm. Like I said, you'll be able to move this one a little. But, but not a whole lot of movement, okay? Um, there's another, also you will be in a sling uh, when you come down from surgery, and it's really important that you um, know how to put that sling on. Um, we'll come in when we do your evaluation and we'll go through it with you, but I'll just kind of give you um, a quick little look of what it's gonna look like. It's generally a blue or black sling, and it goes around your shoulder and your neck, um, and it has a Velcro on the top, and these little D-rings. When you see it, you'll know what I'm talking about. And maybe you've already seen it. Um, anyway, so you'll put the arm in there. You wanna make sure the elbow is at the back part, okay? And then the strap comes around the neck, and you want it to hook where it's easy for you to unhook with your one hand, okay? So all of these things, I know it's a lot of information, but doing these things and having this information beforehand will hopefully help you to get through your healing proce process faster, and, um, be happy that you did it. All right, uh, we're here for you. Let us know you if we can be a further help. Thank you.